Hey, what is up guys? It's the hidden here. So today I just basically want to make a video on how to make your own custom cool Dark Bomber world. I call it the Dark Bomber world because uh, it uses all the Kevin cubes and you know like the Dark Bomber is like uh, connected to like the Kevin the cube and you know uh, all that stuff. So basically to make this world you have to go into your galleries and you have to go all the way down nearly all the way down. Uh, when you go past these fireworks and then you find this ring gallery B. You pick that up, throw it onto one of these floating islands. You pick one of the purple uh, little circle things. Then you go to pitch. Put the grid uh, snap on whatever you want. I prefer like 16 or 8. Okay, so there. Okay, it's acting really glitched out. One second, let me just do this. You take this, and then you're trying to make it as centered as possible. For this, you might want to make it like grid snap 8 or 4. Don't make it two or one because it'll be like too hard to like put it in the middle. Basically, after you do that, if you want, uh, you can make this kind of stack uh, like version where you just take it, look a bit more up with one of the grid snaps, and you just place it there. Okay, after that, uh, I use the purple gallery. So, okay, where is it? Let me try and find the purple gallery. It's like somewhere down here. Yeah, yeah, right after the ring lights, like there's like this optical cores gallery purple. You take that, you throw it onto one of the floating floating islands as well. You take the stairs, and then you take this, and then you keep the walls. Eh? I'm just gonna delete what you don't need. Uh, okay, you're just gonna need uh, this, this ramp, this half wall, the corner one. Not the top corner, you need the bottom corner. I need this wall, that's it. Uh, by the way, uh, when you're making this uh, bottom corner thing, and you do this, you pick it up, and put it like here, and it's a different color, just pick it up, press up on the D-pad, it'll mirror, and then you can just make it purple, because like the other color is like blue or something, let me see. Yeah, it's blue, so basically look. Uh, I'm just gonna take this wall, put it here. Like, look, I'm just gonna put this. If I do this and rotate it, it's gonna be a different color. You see, it's really hard to see, but it's blue and this is purple. So you take this and you mirror it and then you place it. Then it's gonna be purple, the exact same color. That's just a tip for even if you're making a different map and stuff. Um, and if anyone thinks there's a better solution for the ramps and like the walls and everything, just type it down in the comments. I'll try to like check it out and like uh, give my opinion on it. Okay, after that, you can take one of those purple lights again, shrink it to like the smallest, and try to censor censor this out as well. I think this is just a nice addition uh, to this whole map as well. But I don't think I really need to stack this because like it doesn't look as good then. Um, after that. Uh, you can put four uh, spawn pads on this side, oh, which is which side is that gonna be like? That is like north, I think. Yeah. So basically, two in the north and south. I mean, four in the north and south, two in the east and west. Then on north, east, northwest, south, east, southwest, you can put one, and then you can put like s two snipers, uh, two different shotguns, a deagle, a flint knock, a AK, and attack SMG if you want. Then, if you want, you can put it on, like, uh, visible during games, or uh, you can put that off. Uh, I think that's it, kind of. Uh, oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, to make this even better, go into my island, game settings, put it on 1 a.m., light brightness is 100%, light color is magenta, fog thickness is 70%, and fog color is black. After that, you can just make all your other settings. I haven't done it myself personally, but I will be able uh, to do it after this video. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that is it, I think. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, well, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment for what I should do, like, next. Maybe make another world, try to at least, because I'm kind of due to making these worlds, but I really like this one. So, yeah, thank you.